The show, I was so excited to tell you about the awards that I had to tell you during the tease so that you wouldn't hear it anywhere else. The ATS named the car of the year, that's the Cadillac, and the Dodge Ram 1500 named the truck of the year. Two success stories coming to you right here from the North American International Auto Show. Who better to talk to about this? Let's get a woman's perspective on all of this. Two women for that, Lauren and Shelby Fix. You know what? You know Lauren Fix is the car coach. She's been on, I mean, I don't know how many times on Fox 2. You're a regular. And it's good to see you. And now you're bringing your daughter into the mix. Right. She's been doing this with me since she was 16, and she's 21 now. And she's car coach 2.0 and handles the technology side, the things that that generation tends to look at versus what my generation tends to look at. Okay. So there's people out there. Let's not stereotype because there's a lot of women in the Motor City who love their cars oh, yeah. and know a lot about cars. I was telling you earlier that people used to come up to my mother and try to explain to her about cars, and she'd have to say, <laughs> my husband was a GM for 26 <laughs> years. What is it about women? Women in the Motor City that makes them more astute. This is where the car was made, right? Well, I'm actually from Detroit originally, and I'm a Motor City gal. And I have to say, it, it really is. This is a part of the culture here. It's a part of the culture in a lot of cities where there's a lot of manufacturing being done. But Detroit is the city when it comes to motor sports and performance. And I think when it comes to cars, when you've got family, you've got friends, you've got relatives that work in the industry, that's what you talk about. That's part of daily conversation. That doesn't happen anywhere else in the U.S. No, we don't just talk about conies. We talk about cars and conies. Yes. Shelby, um, a 2.0. You're the car coach 2.0. Tell us what you've seen here at the auto show that you want to tell people about that you think they would be excited about. I think that people would be excited about the new Stingray that the Corvette uh, that Corvette just uh, launched last night, and it was it looks awesome, absolutely awesome. This is not in everyone's price range, the Stingray. I know that. They say they actually say if you can afford the first six generations of the Corvette, you can afford the seventh generation, too. I said, all right, there's, everyone knows if they're in that price point or not. But what is the most, what would you say, the best buy so far that you've seen? And that you, maybe there's not just one, but what would you recommend people check out? Well, when you're going to buy a car, you're going to purchase a car, you want to look for long warranty, you want to check with your insurance company, and, of course, crash test readings and resale value. I, I have to say, Ford has come so far. I mean, the Ford Focus, the Ford Fiesta, the Ford Fusion, they've, they've done so much for their brand. And the Ford trucks, I know the GM is made here and Chrysler's here, but really the Ford truck has been number one selling forever because the product. And actually, I do own a Ford truck. And I have to say, Ford has really come strong. GM is coming back strong. They have great brand lines with Buick and Cadillac and Chevrolet and, and GMC. And, I, and Chrysler's, you know, I think they're all, they're all, it's nice to see the industry growing. They're Absolutely. talking over 15 million cars to be sold next year. Well, I mean, the chairperson for the North American International Auto Show is a big Ford dealer in town, John Sebet. He was leaning on a CTS and talking about the pride that we can all feel here in Detroit uh, to have these great cars, of course, around us. The auto show, just so you know, this is a press preview. If you're watching this right now and you're saying, let's pick up the car and go. Don't come till next week. It opens up next week on Saturday. In the meantime, of course, the press days are today and tomorrow. Stay tuned to Fox 2. We'll give you the very latest. The car coach, the car coach 2.0, Lauren and Shelby fixed. Good to see both of you. Nice to see you as well. I'm going to send things back over to you.